Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I'm the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fine. Thank you for all the well wishes. I am doing better. Not fantastic yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. My daughter did a little work on my back over the weekend, and uh, she's a massage therapist, and it helped tremendously. So hopefully I can get another one of those this week, and then I should be good to go. Mm -hmm. um, we're back on Atlas. We're back at the Jaded Alcove. Uh, nearly got sunk coming back here, leaving the K-9 area, the islands, um, just about got sunk. Ships of the Damned, there was like no wind on the ocean at all. And so we were moving extremely slow. I maneuvered through them all. We got beat up pretty bad. Nobody died. Uh, the ship was starting to sink in this back corner right here. Uh, I just had to get the ship steered the direction as we were leaving as fast as we could. It was very slow. Very slow. We took a lot of hits um, and managed to get far enough ahead in, in a direction where I could stop, grab my trusty hammer, run down below deck, and get these walls, these panels back here fixed up, and then the sail too. The main sail back by us was heavily damaged. Matter of fact, did I check this? This is not fixed either. I don't think I... Yeah, see, the interior stuff you have to fix. Now, like, this sail was very beat up, but um, it's, of course, fully repaired now. I forgot about this, though. So right-click. Can I not repair this? Maybe this is something they repair. What does it say on the sidewall? 6,000. Hmm. Um... Yeah, I can't, I can't swing at it. Well, I can't right-click at that. Maybe you guys can help me with that one. Oh, I wonder if it's just... Um, uh, demolish. Okay, what does it say? It, it's okay, wood thatch and fiber, and then we can fix that up. Let's do that. Some of the stuff, it looks like it's that direction. I did not know that. I have never had to fix that before. Um, so that was kind of new to me. But even the sale, you have to have the right material in inventory. And then here you can, um, there'll be a, a, an option to repair the sail itself. You could repair the mast with the hammer, but then you've got to come back and do the sail with uh, the other. Uh, wait, we've got everything we need here. We're right here. Uh, repair. So we should see it go up to 10,000. There we go. Perfect. And, and I believe I got just about everything else. I went around and fix things. It made me learn that there are certain things like in the barrels and stuff, if you need chitin and keratin, any of one of those things, or maybe you need the organic paste, you should have a little bit of all of that inside your resource chest. That's why when you're using the hammer, this is where all that material is coming from. We're doing okay in here. I don't know if the stone is necessary, but there it is. I'm going to go ahead and drop half of that in there and half of that in there and... I'll just throw all of that in there. Just like that, yeah. Just to make sure. We could probably use a little more metal in there, too. I don't have a lot of metal on the ship. However, the good news is we did get away. Uh, I survived it. Patched the ship up. Went back to the islands we were at. And just sat there for a night and let everybody work on the ship. And they got it all ship shape. Uh, then we took off the next day and we made it back okay. With no problems. I unloaded the cargo container. We actually left with stuff in here. A bunch of crystal. Which was stupid of me. Uh, but we left with that, so that cut down on how much weight we could carry back. But we do have all that extra stuff now. Uh, the extra kind of wood. We've got the other metal now, the third metal. This is the crystal we had with us on the ship. Uh, you know, I should have checked it before I left. I just didn't think it had anything in it. We've got the extra wood now. We've got another kind of fiber. There's another kind of fiber. And we've got another gem here too. And then this, I'm not sure where this came from. I'm not sure. I didn't cut my hair or anything, so I'm not quite sure where the hair came from. But there it is. And then we have a um, large shipyard uh, free of charge as well. Which I don't know if we're going to use. We'll see. We'll see how expensive it is to make the, the fine one. Um, which, by the way... Oh, I also um, started to move some things off the dock. Grab those eggs. Uh, the, the larder is gone now. I put it over by the... Um, Speaking of putting over there, let's uh, let's grab him. He's got a bunch of fish on him. Let's run him on down this way. 
I moved the food over to the house here. I also added doors. Okay, this is the storefront, right, which we still have to finish up. But then we've got a door that leads into the living area. So I put two larders side by side, one for meat and eggs. And then I've got one for all the fruits, vegetables, herbs, things like that right here. We've got our, our stove. Now our stove is fully irrigated. However, however, this is not full. I'm kind of waiting for this guy to fill up a little bit more before we start using it. So if you don't mind, we'll do that. Um, the other thing I am working on... Oh, we've got a uh, scab on our shoulder here. We're going to put scab right down here on the rug. It's a good spot for him. Well, <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> He did not like the rug. Let's put him over here. It's very hot. Very hot. Let's put him right over here. Oh. There we go. All right. Near the fireplace. That's where he'd sleep, right? Oh, we got a, we got a heat wave going on. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to have to, of course, avoid that as best I can. Uh, so let me take a break, and I'll come back. We are working on the brig today. I want to go out, and we're going to go get ourselves some of those, those dang... Ships of the Damned. They they just about blew me right out of the water. So I'll come back and then uh, we'll resume. But we're going to get the brig loaded up. I've been making cannonballs and all kinds of stuff. So I'll be back. We have a heat event and we have rain coming down. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still too hot. Oh, I think one of our metal nodes came back here. By the way, I did have to go get metal. And our metal nodes over on this little island right next to us here are all back so that was really great I thought maybe there was one right here but I don't think it yep it is there's there's one of our iron nodes right here which is fantastic very good so we've got one close by again all right I'll be back I'm still trying to uh, avoid the uh, the heat welcome back I made us fine pants and I made all the crew members fine pants I'm not sure I have the dye to be able to of course dye them so that's that's a thing uh, we might actually have enough to do it. We just might. Uh, let's see. And then, I've, well, I've got to make shirts. These guys have all... These guys are okay, but I, I, I picked up two new crew members, too. We went to... Let me show you the map. Minus out. We went over to... We stopped in L8 at that first in the southwest corner there in L8. That's where we stopped. I picked up two new crew members... And then we came, we sailed back. Uh, we had a storm out there, which was nice because it shifted the wind in my direction finally. And then we were able to get back here quickly. But um, yeah, so I picked up two new crew members and they are on the brig at the moment. But we should probably make everybody everything. So what am I going to need? I'm going to need some... I don't have blueprints for everything, but I've got a, just the pants right now. That's fiber... Uh, what else do we need for the fiber clothes? Fiber and hide. So I need two of these. Have I got like another heat wave going on? Two of those. Two hats. I got the pants taken care of. And we got two of these. And as we get more blueprints, of course, we'll uh, upgrade all the clothes. Yeah, I'm burning up, man. This place. This spot right here is really hot. There we go. We're all done with that. I think if we go out on the ship, we should be okay. Ecuador here has got everything we need to get up onto the, the ship. One of you mentioned that you think the ammo crate works. It's got a radius to it, so... Um... A distance that they can see it. So I'm going to try one and see if they actually notice it. Oop, whoop, 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 whoop. You know what? It's easier to turn sharp. Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't want you on here. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to be on here. Ha, okay. You don't turn very sharp up here with that card on your back, do you? Okay, so it was said that maybe the ammo crate... If we find a central location for it, maybe everyone will be able to reach from it and pull from this crate. So I'm wondering if maybe 
because it's the, we've got the three cannons in the back here too. So maybe if I put it uh, right here, I should do more than one actually. I think it would look cool down here to have several. But what I want to do is, since I've never done this before, is I would like to go out and give it a whirl. See what happens. If we lose the ship, we lose the ship, the crew, whatever. I just want to get kind of the bare bones of what I'm going to need to fight with and then go out and do it and see what it's like. And then if the ship survives it and we survive it, then we'll come back and we will work on getting... Um, God, looks like I'm going to take about 100 at a time, maybe. Working on the ship some more and maybe changing it around and working this out a little differently. You know, stuff like that. We could bring it back and work on it some more. Uh, I just want to go out and try it. You guys have been dying to see it. I'm really actually dying to try it now. When they were shooting at me the other day, I thought, oh man, I wish I could fire back. It'd be so nice to just sink you guys right now. So I need to go out there and do it and make myself do it. I don't know why I grabbed those. I can't carry them. And just do it. Make it happen. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about it. That's one thing for sure. So that's 200. Okay, these actually stack quite high in here too in this box. So let's see. I think if I come down here, uh, if I get on, hold on, demolish, select ammo type, cannonball, is that right? That has to be, oh, that has to be open first. Okay, so reload. And I want to try the crew and see if they can do it too. How far can I shoot? Oh, that was pretty close to that elephant. <laughs> okay. All right. And then you have to reload. Okay, so we know that one's reloading. Now, hold on. No, 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 no. no. I want to close this. Now, that should be loaded. Does it say? It says unloaded. Okay. Let's open this. Okay. Okay, it'll see it from there. I'm assuming it'll see it from here too. Okay, I'm just kind of stopping it in, in, in the animation. I think that works. And then we know that one's going to work. So let's go up on the upper deck and see if this one's going to work. Okay, yeah, we could we can load it from here too. This is pretty sweet. What kind of a radius do they have here? They've got quite a bit of spans here, don't they? So if we do a little zigzagging out in the ocean, these guys should be able to turn and handle that. So if, if it's something like following us and that we start to turn, they should have a little bit of a radius that they can fire off to the side. I'm hoping that's going to be the case. Now, does this say unloaded? It says loaded. So all the cannons can be loaded from that one crate. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we'll leave just the one there. We'll put the rest of the cannonballs in there. Now I want to see... Excuse me. This is one of our new crew members. Uh, this is Bearded Mary 9. Uh, she's, she's something else. <laughs> I need you to unseat. There we go. And then I want you to follow me. Yeah, they're both really tiny. They're super tiny. This is our other guy. This is um, old Bob Black. Yep, old Bob Black right here. He's got an XP too. Well, let's give him hell. There we go. We have a resource chest downstairs. Uh, no, we don't. That's not entirely true. We have a resource chest in here with just some berries in it because they don't really care what kind of food they eat. And then I've got some gold in here too. We, we need to finish staffing the ship. Uh, that's right, you're <laughs> peeping Tom. You weirdo. Come here. Come here. All right, come on. Get your sloppy self up here. Come on. There we go. Now, I should be able to say use cannon. There we go. 
Now, can I tell them to fire it from here? No. All right, so if I come down here, and I right-click, how about if I hit W? Now what if I hit this? Aha! Uh -huh. Right-click to get him to aim. Left-click to get him to fire. Okay. So hold down right-click. Let's see if he can shoot over here. No. Hmm. So... He doesn't look like he's very accurate. Um, maybe I could go farther out. Uh, that's not even close to where I targeted. There he goes. Okay, so it's showing that the other... Oh, I see, on the deck there, I can barely make out that there's, uh, there's something coming up on the cannons that's saying, nope, he can't shoot that way. Oh. Okay, so if I stop him on his swing as he's swinging, he will just let it he'll just let it rip. So we need to let him get in position. No, he he's still. So what do I do? Let's see. All right. I'm willing to try it out. I wonder if well, hold on. Let's uh let's re-anchor. Thank you for the demonstration. I appreciate that. Uh, unseat. There we go. Why don't you just come back to following me? Uh, oh, T. No, no, no. Don't, don't fix the ship. It's fine. We're going to put you right here. Uh, there you go. Right there. All right. Beautiful. So, we have our cannons. We have our crew that we need for the sails. We've got enough people for the sails. As a matter of fact, we've got one extra that we could put on one of the cannons in the back. And if we feel like it, you think we could take out a ship of the dam with one cannon? I don't know. I'd rather have a bunch of these guys lined up. Now, you guys have told me that I can basically pass them and kite them behind me and slow down and speed up and pretty much use these cannons on the back to annihilate just about any enemy. And we'll, of course, use that tactic too, but I am going to go up on the side. Now, if we go like this and I hit R, all the doors open. Do you see the doors opening for the cannons and the cannons come out? Let me see if I can get down here where you guys can see it better. Right there. There it is, right down at the bottom of the screen. So R to activate them. And it looks to me like all I have to do is hit R or right, hold down right click. I get the red arrow and then just left click and fire. I think it's red because we're not actually hitting anything. Oh, I forgot to close them up. There we go. Um, so I think that's why I got that red icon was because we were shooting at nothing. But I just wanted to see how it worked. So we know we can do that. That is fantastic. All right, cool. So we're that much closer. So we still need some crew members, though. Let's think about that. How many do we need? Because that's going to be the next thing we do is we're going to go off and get the crew members that we need in order to, uh, to fight. Now, when we sink the ships at the dam, if that is indeed what we do, and I don't sink, we're going to be able to take crew members out of the water. What do we do if we're fully crewed on here? I mean, I'm going to have one, two, got eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, that's 14 crew members. We can have 16 on here. Now, we could add beds to it, which I believe in increases the total crew capacity we could have, but are we just supposed to murder some of these people? Because <laughs> um, you can't go over the limit. Yeah, so what do you do with these low-level guys? Because when we sh sink the ships of the damned, we're going to have higher-level... Um, pirates that we'll be, we could scoop up. If we have gold in our inventory, in our old slot, we can get um, Ship of the Damned crew members. And they're just higher level. So then we give them armor, we give them weapons, and then we take them on land and let them help us fight the Damned uh, and their, to get their treasure chests. You know what I mean? Jellybean? 
that's kind of the idea there. I think that's one of the progressions. At least it's one that you could take. One of the things you could do. I'm going to go harvest me a nice little uh, ray here. The oil. Got to get the oil. There we go. Fantastic. Oil and a little bit of fish. Um, I've actually made this, so I can't get up here. We had an elephant come through here. Uh, the other day when I was sailing back and I got back here and I was unloading the ship, the bounty there, um, it hit, uh, it walked along this edge and it could not get up above. Now, where did I put, I have a ladder here somewhere. Oh, it's over here. I think I need another one down here. The dock has gotten quite large. So that's the idea. Um... What else do I need on the ship? I'm going to need some food. Let's think about what else we need for the ship. I'm going to grab and bring Ecuador down here near the workbench. There we go. Oh. Mr. Potts, why aren't you on my shoulder? <sighs> food. Uh, we're going to need we're going to need water. Uh, let's make a barrel. Let's make one of these. We just need the one. Let's get one of these on there next time it rains, which it always does. We will get that put on there. I'm going to drop that oil in there, drop that off in there, and then I have fish. Uh, let's throw the fish in here for now. I know, uh, Scab's up at the house, but we'll, we'll get that to him. He has a whole bunch on him right now. I usually, if I see the rays, I grab them up, and then I just take all the fish and put it right on him. If I need some cooked, I do that, but otherwise it all goes right on him. Uh, water... The barrel should be someplace relatively safe. I don't know if middle of the deck is a very safe place for it, but it's not. Let's go ahead and put this guy right. Uh, look at that. It's tilting right here. Why would it tilt right there? That's weird. See that? And it straightens out. There we go. Beautiful. We'll just open that up and we'll get that filled up. Okay, so I've got water. We should have all of our foods that we need. And would you think this is enough cannonballs? Because we're going to go out next episode and do this. We're going to go get the crew and, uh, and, and then go after some damned. 300 cannonballs. I think... Uh, I think I should do about 500. Oh, I got to tell you. When you get like three or four of them shooting at you, it is a volley of fire and their their cannonballs are like green and red and they're flying through the air and it's it's pretty terrifying um let's go ahead and do um cannonballs i can make another hundred let's do them all let's do them all we'll put them on there and then we we should have enough i hope to do what we're going to do i think that's what i'm using up is maybe the rest of the gunpowder here no it's probably the rest of the metal yeah it's the metal it's expensive you get two per so that's actually 200 i correct myself that's about 200 cannonballs now which is fantastic uh, we'll grab the first 50 here, then we don't have to think about it. There we go. Bingo. All right. Beautiful. All right. Looks like the sun is getting ready to go down. I'm not... I'm just going to keep thinking about what it is I need to put on the ship. You guys think about that, too. This is the perfect place for it. I'm definitely going to need a small chest. Oh, that's a good thing to have. Yeah. I think, actually, down on this the below deck here, we put a small chest right here, and we put our hammer... And things of that nature in there. And then the resource chest is in here. And how are we in here? See, we have no resources in here. So this needs to be stocked with wood thatch, fiber, and at least metal. So I'm going to have to go out and get some more metal and get that uh, stocked up. I'm not going to do any more decorating in here at the moment. We're going to take this out, like I said. And we are going to... Uh, I'm going to give myself a dry run on, on, on fighting ships of the damned. So any advice and tips you have for me, go ahead and bring them in. I know the one about kiting them, but anything else that you can think of, let me know. Uh, so the sun's going down. I'll take a break. I'll get a few more things put on the ship, and then we will uh, we'll move forward from there. So it has occurred to me that I'm f number 15 on the ship, and that would count as 16 right there. 
Yeah, I, I, I need to figure out what to do about that because the crew members that we're going to get off the ships of the damned will be better. They'll be better. Uh, I finished stocking the cannonballs. What I'm going to put on here. And uh, there's better artillery we can get too. So I'm curious about that. And there's torpedoes. That's kind of interesting. So we've got almost 500. I have my armor on me. And what I'm going to do is take and put... Uh, number four. I really shouldn't have it out here. Let's put it in here. Let's put it over on this side as well. We'll kind of caddy corner it just inside the door. We're going to put... I'm going to wear this while we're fighting. I have the sextant with me as well. We're going to use that. I have a bunch of ladders that I made up because at least one of these crow's nests, I want to be able to get up and use the sextant in. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And I've got to put... Ooh, I see. I can actually snap that to several different locations up on that one. Oh. Can we do the side as well? No. Okay. It's got to be here. All right. Um, right down the middle is fine. Made 33 of these guys. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's fine. Let's go on up. Yeah, next episode, I want to go out and do... Uh, Get the crew and, and, and do the damn. Oh, so we could put them on the side here, too. See, that that kind of interests me. It, it is precarious coming down these. Um, I, I, wind, I wind up going too far and then backing off and basically falling. Um, yeah, we'll do it on this side here. I'm kind of curious to see where it drops me off on that one. And then we'll put this one back right here. Like that. And that should get us all the way up to the top. And then we can take the sexton out and use it and find our stars really easy. And then we should be able to get down relatively quick as well. No. It's it's the, the backing up coming down. <laughs> it makes you want to fall off, but we're going to be okay this time around. Alright, so we have these ladders. Now, the other ladders we need to think about are the ones on the side of the ship. I've kind of put a few out, but I don't think they're as far down as I want them to be. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. There we go. We need to get the diving suit. We'll leave Mr. Potts here on the dock. And then we're going to be able to swim around and figure out where we want to put our ladders without having to be having to worry about, you know, rays and stuff like that. All right, let's see here. Okay, you can see I got them kind of figured out where I want them. But I'm going to want a third one on there. I have to go? There we go. Yeah, you definitely want the third one on there because if there's waves and stuff... Um, that ladder could be a long ways away from you before you get back to it again. And if you're trying to get out of the water, and you're trying to get out of the water right now, like I am usually, then you definitely want that ladder close. Uh, we could do one in the center here, too, it looks like. Uh, uh, no, that's going to be through that. I hate that. We want to be careful here, because, of course, we don't want the uh, this to be in the way of the cannons. So we're going to do that one there. Uh-huh, look at this. You swim much faster underwater with this than above water, if you don't know. Let's grab that oil and fish meat. All right, and back under we go. She still has room up front. We get a little closer, but if we wind up putting a decor uh, uh, a, a decoration in the front here of the ship, it's we're not going to have that much room. Um, I need you to go right on. There you go, right there. There you go. Perfect, 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 perfect. I think that's good. I may put... We should probably put some on the side, huh? This one I've got taken care of. Where else can I put these? On... The ship, please. Put one right there. Um... No, I don't think so. Let's check the back. Can I add one to this? No. Hmm. You sure can't. What happens when I come up here? 
I kind of stand on the edge. That's good. That's very good. Okay, beautiful. All right, fantastic. All right, that's good. We've got our ladders placed then. Uh, we've got a water barrel being filled with water right now as we speak. This is the first rain since we put this barrel on, so it should get enough in it for us to go out and mess around for a little bit in. And then, resource chest. I have wood, thatch, fiber, some hide, some organic paste, some carotenoid. Uh, we've got a little more oil in here too now. I was thinking about putting, did I say that? A, a diving platform on here. I was thinking about that. We need extra planks and I th and a hammer. We need a hammer too. Extra planks and a hammer. So let's get those. Let's get those things. I'm cold. Hold on. Beautiful. All right, perfect. And we're gonna throw the meat inside of here. There we go. There. And I said a hammer, right? So we're gonna make two hammers. It's probably in my inventory, huh? Yeah, it's not even over here. Uh, T, T, thatch. There we go. Hammer. There we go. Let's make two of those. I noticed there are fine hammers as well. <laughs> Pretty nice. Okay, there's one, there's two, and then what was the other thing I said? We need the hammers and... Oh. I need metal. I need metal. Let's get these hammers put up here. I found it having... It's, it saved my life. The hammer, it was exactly where I needed it right away, and that was inside this box. And I knew it was in that box on the other ship, and I went to it immediately, and it it probably saved a lot of time because we were actually taking on water. It was spurting water is what it was showing. Oh, planks. Oh, uh, we're not going to be able to do the planks right now anyways. We don't have any metal. So let's grab Kodiak. How's his inventory? It's just fine and dandy. It's going out this way. There we go. He's, he doesn't have on, on him, right? No, he's fine. Okay, he's just... It's just moving weird for me, that's all. Let's go on down this way. Cut by the stable. Out we go. Metal's just right down here around the corner. So we've got about a week and a half to two weeks more of this. Uh, maybe even more of being uh, asked to stay as confined to your homes as possible to try to get this thing to stop. I don't know. We'll see how it's going to work out. People are getting restless. There we go, number one. Perfect, look at this. Bam. So yeah, these guys, I've already harvested three of them. There we go. And <clears throat> there we go. We're going to put 500 on the ship. Which I forgot to look up the names. I apologize. I will do that. Well, that'll be kind of the christening, right? As we head out, the christening of the ship, we'll name it. We're only going to grab a couple of these, then we'll head back. You can see, this was that was just a baby one. That was just a baby one. We need one more. There's another baby one right here. Look at that. These are tiny. It's rare to get under 500. There he goes, 528. Okay, that's good. All right, beautiful. All right, we got our metal. We've had some nice elephants showing up. We had a 31 male uh, when I was on last time just bringing uh, the bounty back to Doc. Um, I just didn't feel like taming anything. And I'm kind of hopeful. I'm holding out. One of these days there's going to be a, you know, I can think, what is it, 36 I think is the highest level. We'll have one of those eventually. And we'll be able to uh, get that elephant tamed, a male. And right on through here. Nice little turn. Oh man, just beautiful, right? Just perfect. Smooth as butter. And, oh, I need to bring you up this way, Kodiak. There we go. There we are. And we need a stack of metal. I'm encumbered. Oh. 
hope I'm not going to be able to make that. I'm, I'm going to have to take this in two trips. I thought I could move a little faster than that, but that's not the case, obviously. There we go. I just didn't want to get stuck in that groove right there. That would have been that would have been bad. And I'm going to the wrong spot anyways. I'm just so used to going below deck for the bounty to get resources put in. There we go, like that. And another 250 will do just fine. So. And I think we have everything we need. We've got... Oh, water's done. 1,400 water is plenty of water in there. 500 metal. The wood, the thatch, all that good stuff. All right, so planks, I'm thinking maybe... Get like six of them made? Oh, geez. <laughs> okay. It's all right. That's why we have ladders stationed here. Just in case that happens, we can handle it. Let's turn. Let's let's close that. There we go. And grab Kodiak. He's got the rest of our metal. I think I need metal for these planks. I'm pretty sure I do. I should probably make... Um, gosh, I wonder if I need like a backup cannon too. Let's grab uh, Mr. Potts back too. There we go. Um, let's grab that and that and that. Oop, we can't even take all of it. There's so much of it. You know what? I may not have... Oh, I think... Wait. I may not have the resources we need for this. We'll see. I think I'm going to be short on the thatch. We have quite a bit of wood in here, but the thatch front is looking pretty weak. Let's see what we have here and we'll, we'll go with it. Let's try that and then let's grab some of the wood too. There we go. And a few of the fibers as well. That's where my other ladders are. <laughs> it's like, where are those ladders at? I couldn't find them anywhere. Let's go structures, ship construction, medium, right? Plank. Let's make one of these, two of those, and let's make, yeah, four of those. Sure. And we're going to have these extras on the ship just in case we run into some trouble. There we go, like so. Awesome. And we'll put these over here. Uh, I think we'll put, yeah, we'll keep these guys in here. Like so. Just like that. That way if we need, I can grab the hammer and I can grab the planks and have them in my inventory. We can head out and uh, do what we have to do to get things, uh, you know, patched up as best we can. Hmm. Anything else you could think of? Of course, we're going to bring our other two crew members over here. You know... Oh, man. Yeah, answer that question for me. What do I do with these crew members? We're going to be fully crewed when we leave. You know? We're going to have a full crew on here. I want... Everybody filled in. I want all the cannons... Locked and loaded and ready to go. Three sails. We have eight downstairs, down below, d below deck. I guess what I could do is, when it comes to uh, the ship leveling, yeah, see, it's not even, it's, it's not going to take much. By the time we get there, hopefully it'll level a few times before we even get to the Freeport Island. If I add extra beds, I think that adds extra crew members to the ship. So we, we could possibly get this up to a few more crew members, and then we can pick and choose which ones we want, which ones we don't want, and, and be, I, I guess, that way about it. But I believe, uh, outside of naming her, can I, can I still name her? Doesn't look like I can. Why is that not a choice? It was a choice. Maybe the anchor has to be raised. Let's see. Change name. Okay, there it is. Okay, there it is. All right. So let's. Uh, I like being. I like being at the helm when I push the buttons. I do. All right. I think we're ready. I think we're good. We have our ladder, so we get out of the ocean. We've tested the cannons. Not on anything. In particular, just the ocean, but we tested them. They can all load from the one spot. We have almost 500 cannon ball balls in here. Uh, let's go into, I got an idea, let's go into our inventory. Let's look at skills. Artillery. Oh, look at this. 
This is where we need some help. Which I am using. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking to have them do it. Increases the sighting speed of cannons which you are using. Does that mean I'm actually on the cannon or does it mean it's a cannon I'm using because it's on my ship? That's what I don't understand. Bar shot. What's this? Unlocks the bar shot ammunition type. Only the ocean. Let's see. While ocean warfare may have started the same way any projectile warfare starts, with the firing of metal projectiles, only on the ocean do you come up with such creative ideas, two metal projectiles connected together with a metal rod. I bet they ripped right through stuff, too. Here's the canister shot, too, but it looks like that's all for the swivel. I'm interested in this stuff down here. There's spike shot. Bigger cannon studies is required. Um, so there's that. Cheaper crew. Rally the troops. The commanding shout rings out and encourages all those aboard this captain ship to work their hardest offering greatly reduced stamina consumption and increased reload speeds for all crew on board. Okay, reload speed. Must be used while on the captain's wheel. I'll have to figure out which key that is when I open that up because it's going to be like, uh, that's like, um, uh, the cry for the animals, right? The nature's cry. Advanced crew education further reduces the rate at which ships sink. What happened? Oh, I don't have enough points. Yeah, we need to level a little bit. Um, the other thing... What else was I thinking about here? Seamanship, maybe? I did unlock Able Mapmaker. And that's why you see the map coming in a little bit better as we, we, we move forward and get closer to islands. Large handling sail. That's all the sails. Able map maker. So, yeah, I, I need to come down here. I could do that. I could use that. That's, that's a good one. And then we can get this one down here, which really makes the map just open up so much faster. You were right about that for sure. There was the damned. Knowledge of the damned. Okay, I've got that all opened. You were able to view the contents of any container without being able to add or remove any items. You do not need to be on the same team as the container owner. No, that doesn't interest me at all. All right, so let me know if there's any um, anything up in here that I need. That's for me, though, if I'm on the cannon. I just don't understand that. I guess if I was on a cannon, yeah. Bigger cannon studies would be great to have as well. Where's the torpedo stuff? Explosive barrels. Oh my gosh, look at this. Advanced depth mortar reload. Let's reload as well. Yeah, I'm really seriously considering. I would love to try out the... Here's Greek fire. Greek fire ammunition for the swivel gun. Well, that's for the swivel gun. Though. I'm looking for different kind of ammunition that I can shoot out of the cannon. There's the spike shot. And there's, I believe there's also mines, right, that you can drop from the ship. So, yeah, clue me in on some of that stuff. That would be great. All right, guys, I think that is going to wrap up the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man Zero 3. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.